है इन दिस वीडियो आई डेमोस्ट्रेट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यूज ऑफ एच टी एम टी फॉर एनी मॉडल विदाउट यूजिंग स्मार्ट केल थ्री एज यू नो दैट एच टी एम टी इज अ टेस्ट विच इज यूज टू असेस डिस्क्रिमिनेंट वेलिडिटी ऑफ एनी मॉडल and you also know that smart pls3 does have a provision for calculating htmt whereas smart pls2 does not have a provision for it third you also know that htmt is used to assess discriminant validity in case of variance based scm since smart pls2 does not have a provision for calculating htmt so those who are using htmt smart pls2 face difficulty in calculating htmt and using this method in this video i'll present a very simple method for calculating htmt first what is htmt we call it uh, hetero trade mono trade ratio of correlations according to thayer et al 2017 htmt is simply the ratio of the between trade correlations to the within trade correlations there are several other definitions of htmt which you can find it in the literature hensler et al they have uh, uh, presented this formula of htmt so it has two parts part 1 is average hetero trade hetero method correlations and part 2 is in fact geometric mean of average mono trade hetero method correlation of construct 1 and the average mono trade hetero method correlation of construct 2 you simply take the product of these two and then take square root and then uh, this value divided by this value and you get the value of htmt let me present a more simple formula formula is the same one but let me present it more simple way so let me denote this part with a and this part with b and this part with c like this so a is in fact the mean of all pair wise correlations between items of the first construct and the items of the second construct for example if you have two constructs a, a x and y so if you correlate all items of x with all items of y and then take average of those values of correlation coefficients you get value of a note b b is the mean of all pairwise correlation between the items of the first construct and what what we call it we also call it the average mono trade hetero method correlations so this is in fact say for example we have the two constructs x and y so if all items of x are correlated with each other and then take the average value of all correlation then we get b since c uh, our second construct is y repeat the same process for for y right calculate the correlation coefficients for uh, all pairs of items of c and then take, take the average we get the c right so then what we do basically we simply Uh, take the product of b and c and then square root and then divide a divided by this value we get value of htmt in more simple words we can say here look at here so this is a matrix in this matrix you see we have two constructs x and y x has four items and y has three items right so these are correlation coefficient which i have created through spss just giving example and uh, if you see here the shaded values these ones 
these shaded values are the correlation coefficients of items of construct 1 with the items of the construct 2. In other words, we are using here hetero methods. As far as the first part is concerned, so, so this is uh, shaded values. If we take average of these values, so this would be A here. Right? So this part A. Now coming to the B, so these values. So the values of collision coefficients of items of X with the items of X mean the, means uh, the all items uh, correlating with each other and what are the correlation coefficient we get and we take the average of these values then we get B and th these are the correlation coefficients of the items of Y with each other among each other so here we get the uh, value of C remember Ignore these ones on present on the diagonal sides. Okay, in short, we can say so. This is part A, this is part B, and this is part C. So the part A is in fact heterotrait heteromethyl correlations, and part B is monotrait heteromethyl correlation, and C is also monotrait heteromethyl correlations. So coming to the interpretations, if the value of HTMT falls below 0.9, so hence we recommend that discriminant validity is established. However, Klein and some other, other authors, they have suggested the value of HTMT should be less than 0.85. Now the question is how to calculate these values. Let me give a, a small demonstration. So this is my data set in small scale, sorry, SPSS. What I do, I simply calculate correlation coefficients. And so what I do basically, say OP and COMP. I simply take these two constructs and items of all items of OP and all, all items of the second construct comp. I have selected and uncheck this flag signal uh, correlation so that I can easily uh, calculate the uh, apply the formulas. Now simply copy it and bring it to uh, Excel sheets. Here it is. So you see here what I've done basically I've already copied it, removed all values above the diagonal sides and also removed the ones present on the diagonal side. Now what I do is basically, I've shaded these values and you see here, so these are the correlation coefficients of items of first construct with the items of second construct. So this is part A. So I simply take the average, so I simply take the average and average of these values and here I get the value of A. Then I need to get the value of B. This part, so this part is basically if, we, if I take the uh, average of these correlation coefficients, so then I get B. Let me remind you, so these are the correlation coefficients of the items of the first construct among each other. Right? Correlation coefficients of uh, items of first construct on each other. So these are the collision coefficients. I take a simple average, I get B. And if I take the average of these values, then I get the value of C. Now let me apply the formula here. What I do basically, simply equation and then A divided by and then let me put in the bracket and uh, this one product multiply by this one and power 0 0.5 so here we go so this is the HTMT what it is it is 0.414 so 
So since it is less than 0.85, so we say discriminant validity is established here. So now the question arises, if say for example, HTMT in any case exceed 0.9 or 0.85, can we decrease it? Yes, we can improve it. We can decrease it. How? We have the two options. Either we remove all items or some items having the lowest correlations with other items of the same construct or we remove the items having highest correlations with the items of other constructs. Let me take you here. So we have two options. Either we take here because since it is the uh, uh, hetero, these are the hetero values. So here we need to re remove the lowest one. So here the lowest one, sorry, here we need to remove the highest one. So highest one is here in this particular case, it is this one. Right? So if we remove the X4, then run the analysis, HTMT would automatically improve. Improve means discriminant validity will improve and HTMT will, will fall down. So this is the way how we can calculate HTMT without using smart PLS2. Now coming to uh, the Excel sheets. If say for example you want to calculate you know, the values here, how to do it? Simply then establish the correlation coefficients like for. So if something went wrong here. 